I just feel like we're missing it. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're missing it. I feel like we're, we're the church is asking the wrong questions. Mm. You know, asking who to vote for to me is is the wrong. It's the wrong question. That's a that's a a political system question. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, how do we be faithful to our mission? Yes. Is, yep. the, is, the, is question the question that we should be asking. Yeah. And that might not include a vote. Mm. That might include what we need to, or it does include what we need to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or what we need to speak against right. or what we need to speak for. Yeah. Um, but we cannot do that if we are tied to the political system and if we see our voting as a kingdom right when it's not. All right, welcome to the Church Dropout Podcast. My name is Alan. I'm joined by Lisa. Thank you so much for tuning into the Church Dropout Podcast. We appreciate it. Did I say that twice? No. I didn't? All right. Church Dropout is a podcast. We talk about issues, topics, and teachings related to faith, life, and culture in ways that are sometimes funny, sometimes serious, but always insightful. If you have not already, please like, rate, and subscribe exclusively here on YouTube because I'm not going to put it anywhere else. We're going to do something else everywhere else. Uh, So anyway... Uh, you know, like, rate, subscribe here on YouTube. We'd appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, as always, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think. Hit the thumbs up. Tell us, uh, uh, shows us that, you know, you guys appreciate the content. And yeah, we go from there. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Can I just say something? Of course. I feel like I have come a long way. Uh, absolutely. You feeling yourself right now? So No, I'm just saying just, you know, for our subscribers that, you know, Subscribe with us when we started. You Absolutely, know, yeah. I was not even on camera. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, because I'm just not that type. I don't like speaking in Absolutely. front of people. I don't like, I even, seriously, I took a, a class in college specifically just so that I can learn how to public speak. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, literally, it was just like, ugh. And so... Um, but I think I've come a long way, you Absolutely. know, just being on, you know, you helped me with this, you know, just with being on camera, yeah. you know, and, um, so I just want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to our viewers too, because they are very supportive. They always say nice and encouraging things. Yeah. There's a few that, you of know, course. but it doesn't hurt nothing. It yeah, doesn't really hurt my feelings. Yeah. Lisa don't care. No, I don't. I really Lisa don't. really holds back. <laughs> What? You do. You, I, I know sometimes you be ready to just go off. You're like, nah. You know, you you don't want to have an after podcast conversation. But you're like, I'm going to keep that one to myself. Yeah, I just, I try not to just. Yeah, like today's topic focus, you might. Yeah, I, I just don't like to focus too much on it. But anyway, saying all that to say, yeah. you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just thankful for you and for our subscribers and just being yeah, supportive. Absolutely. And just kind of allowing me to be me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll just second that, you know, I, yeah. I mean, honestly, I tell the people this all the time. Uh, you kind of carry this. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I I, I I could not do this with without you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think you do a magnificent job. I think you do a great job. And yeah, I know this is outside of your comfort zone. This is not something that's normal uh, for you. You're a behind the scenes type mm-hmm. person. And, you know, um, you know, you like to, you know, hit people and hide your hand. And, uh, what? I'm just playing. You like that? You like that scene in uh in Rush Hour when uh you know when Chris Tucker when they when he gets kicked in the face mm-hmm. and he said he goes who, who kicked me because he didn't know which yeah. <laughs> that's how you be sneaking up you be throwing jabs and like, where did that come from? Um, but no, I think you do a great job and thank really you. really appreciate you being mm-hmm. here. Honestly, thank you. You know so so yeah. That's it for the Church Dropout Podcast. <laughs> you know me. When something pops in my head, I have to just say it, it right then and there. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to forget or, yeah, absolutely. you know. Yeah, no big deal. Um, so, you know, there was a debate, you know, and between presidential candidate Donald Trump and uh, current president Joe Biden. Mm-hmm. And so this was the first of the presidential debate. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's going to be more. Uh, yeah, there's going to be more. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was the first one. 
uh, it was kind of a trip because they didn't, <laughs> you know, there was no audience. Mm-mm. There was no, like, they were going to mute the mic so mm-hmm. people can't hear you if mm-hmm. you're interrupting. Mm-hmm. And it was just weird, mm-hmm. uh, you know. But, yeah, this was the first of, I don't know how many debates, but it was the first. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, what what, what do you think, uh, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously we're not going to talk about the debates. I'll kind of introduce, you know, what we're going to talk about. But, you know, yeah. what's your initial thoughts? Um, it was interesting. Um, it honestly was not what I expected from either. And, uh, well, from one of them, I kind of, you know, <laughs> expected that it was going to be, you know, I will say I, I, I think Trump kind of just stayed, you know, very, you know, yeah. Focused on the topics and just hit, you know, went there, you know, mm-hmm. and I felt it, it was almost like, you know, how Trump is usually the outspoken one and the one you're 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 afraid is going to be the one cutting yes. off and everything. I think it was the opposite. I think Trump was the one that was more, you know, <laughs> got it together. And then Biden was more like, you know, I'm going in and I'm <laughs> I'm going to get you. And, you know, I don't know. It was just both of them were just. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think just, you used the right term. It was very interesting. It was very interesting. I yeah. mean, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, yeah. Joe was just staring a lot. Yeah. You know, and, you know, Trump, you know, I don't know if he felt bad or if he was just like, yeah. well, what, almost, what are we talking about? Yeah. Both. I think it was both. I think he almost, in some cases, he felt bad because there were a couple of times when like Joe kind of just like froze and he was just like, <laughs> You know, almost wanted to like help him, <laughs> and then there was other times where it was just like, you know, what, what, like, what are we doing? Yeah, you know, so yeah, you know, it was just yeah. And somebody pointed out online, this was interesting. You know, they just pointed out online previous uh, debates where just to see how much we've changed as a culture, and really how divisive politics in America has gotten, where mm-hmm. they they just showed like the last few presidential debates Mm -hmm. and they showed like they would come and shake hands Mm -hmm. and Mm. there, there was interaction between the two candidates, even though they're on different sides, there was like a level of respect uh, for the role office of president um, and what they were actually looking to achieve where you just don't see that, Mm -mm. you know, they, they, they don't, you know, and again, I don't know. Maybe all that's fake. Maybe they don't yeah. like each other. They're just putting yeah. on a show. I don't know. But I would be so surprised if they are like out there on the golf course together, well, hanging Joe, out. Joe said he could beat him in golf, and I'm just like, see, now you got to quit lying. <laughs> you got to stop lying. You. I mean, which tee is he hitting from? Because I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out if he thinks that he could be Trump in golf. I'm Listen, just trying to figure out which tee is he hitting from. Joe's gonna say, <laughs> "Look," and then he's gonna pick up the ball and and throw it down the fairway because he he listen he's not gonna be Trump in golf. No. I, and then he's talking about. Then he said this, and then we're not gonna go here because this is. But the man actually said, "I'll carry my bag." <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. I'm like this was yeah. so yeah this was interesting yeah to say to yeah. say the least because it, it was I, interesting. I really feel like Joe's intent Joe Biden you know his intention President Biden his intention is you know yeah I probably should be retiring but not if this person's not if you oh, know yeah. like like I yeah. have a vendetta yeah. like you know what I mean um you know if it was anybody else maybe you know I'd be like mm, okay four years was yeah. good yeah he's but, not he's not running for the role right he's running a, against Trump yes. he's running to prevent yes you know Trump That's from, what I from getting into the office yes yes um you know uh yeah I I I, I agree one hundred and ten ten percent mm-hmm. you know so. So yeah, it, it's it's it was an interesting debate. It was. You know, a lot could be said about you know because I think both of them. You know, I know people were concerned about Joe's age, mm-hmm. but I didn't see. You know, I mean, Trump was a little bit more, I don't know, responsive in some senses, but a little bit more pep in yeah, his but, step. Yeah, but but 
Trump lost a couple peps in his step too. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? Yeah. Um, but what are they like? Four years apart? I think they're four to four to six years apart. They're not six like years. That. I think it's I think four. I think it's four, four or something four. like okay. that when they when they get the age. But mm-hmm. but from that perspective, it was it was a very interesting debate. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, so so again, so this is not to this podcast that we're going to talk about is not meant to talk about who to vote for, right, or who not to vote for, right, right, right. Um, I want to make some simple observations on what I think this showed us mm. as Christians. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not, you know, telling you how to, or we're not telling you how to interact uh, in the political system or anything mm-hmm. like that. I'm just saying like, how should we, how should we view this Yeah, from a Christian perspective? How should yeah. we look at this? Is, is this a sign? Like, like, are we being shown something here right, right. Um, as it relates to this? Because the truth is, is that, The issues, the concerns to me on both sides Mm -hmm. were glaring. Mm. As a Christian, Mm -hmm. there's problems. Yeah. And a lot of Christians have been in this place of voting for lesser of two evils and Mm -hmm. all this type of stuff. Like, I'm just saying, like, if it's down to these two candidates, in my opinion, when it comes to how Christianity is viewed and, 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 you know, you know, just Christianity in general in the public mm-hmm. space and um, upholding quote unquote Christian values and different yeah. things of that sort. Neither one of these mm-hmm. represent that at all. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think it's been shown over the years and it's being, it's, it was shown in this debate. And yeah. so as I was sitting there looking at it, I just began to think about like, you know, like what is this, telling us is mm-hmm. this like a, a sign mm-hmm. you know like how mm-hmm. should we be viewing this mm-hmm. and truthfully um you know i feel like you know i walked away from this w- you know with the idea of like you know i think we are further <laughs> um you know i think we're further away from how do i say this without because I'm not trying to degrade. Um, okay, so so I feel like this. I feel like this is or was or should have been a wake-up call mm. mm-hmm. for Christians that we have to really rethink mm-hmm. And re-engage what our role is as far as what God has called us to do missionally Mm -hmm. and our relationship with politics. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, um, I think this was a wake-up call for us to see, like, there's no way that the government Mm -hmm. nor a a presidential candidate can uphold or restore Mm -hmm. Christian values (laughs) to a nation. Mm. Yeah. First of all, that's not the goal of the church. Right. It's not, it's not, you know, the job of the president. Right. Or the political system. Right. And I think to a large degree, we have abdicated that to those roles. And what I saw was, this to me um, just showed the collapse of that idea mm. that somehow we're called to one of the ways as Christians that we're called to engage the world is through is through the reorientation of political power. Mm. And I just think that it's failed mm. miserably. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. All the ideas of the moral majority 10 or 15 years ago, you know, to legislate, you know, morality and, you know, bring God, you know, restore Christian values. All of that has failed. Mm -hmm. Right. Looking at a candidate to uphold and to um, and to enforce uh, Christian values. I think we're at a place now where we see. This is not going to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And truthfully, it should have never happened. Right, right. You know? Yeah. And so I think this was a wake-up call for Christians really to 
you know, kind of back up mm -hmm. and reevaluate. One, I think our call mm -hmm. uh, in the world, you know, again, our call is not to make America Christian again. Mm -hmm. Our call is not to uphold Christian values in America. Mm -hmm. That's not a gospel call. Mm -hmm. Our call is to uh, be on a mission and to serve the world uh, and to preach the gospel. Yeah. And we demonstrate the Christian values. Uh, we demonstrate godly values in the world yeah. and we can't legislate those things. Yeah. Um, we got to engage those things the way God has called us to. And we need to step out of this allegiance to the system um, where we feel like, you know, that is the way that we're going to achieve uh, what God desires for his community and what he desires for the world. Mm -hmm. And I just think that this, to me, this debate just showed that like, mm -hmm. like, you know, even more so of, oh, you know, the lesser of two evils. And that's all I'm hearing is yeah. like, you know, is, oh, you know, I'm going to vote for this person because, you know, the other person is this and I'm going to mm -hmm. vote for this. You know, I'm not voting for them because they're right. I'm just voting against this person mm -hmm. over here, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm like, but what is that? What, what are we expecting that to do? Right. You know? Yeah. How are we expecting that to change the world? Yeah. The fact is, is that that won't change the world. Nope. None of that is. Mm -mm. You know, voting yeah. does not change the world. Um. Again, I'm not saying that we shouldn't vote. I'm not saying that that's not important. What I'm saying is, is that as Christians, as Christians, mm -hmm. this should be a wake-up call to reorient ourselves back to mission, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and untie ourselves from this political ide ideology that I think is to a large degree ruining uh, American Christianity mm. and driving us into a place, uh, driving us toward the margins and really crippling our influence in the world uh, to be able to do uh, what God has called us to do. Mm. It's clear that the system is not the answer. Yeah. The political system. Right. Is right. not the answer. It never right. has been the answer. Nope. Nope. You know? Yeah. And uh, we just got to stop seeing these people as our as our saviors and start looking to Jesus and start being Christians who live in the world and start transforming lives the same way that lives were transformed biblically. Yes. By the yeah. preaching, teaching, sharing, living the gospel yes. uh, in the world. It's not going to happen by having the perfect candidate. Right. Yep. Or having a decent candidate. Right. That's right. not the goal for Christians. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, I just think this was a clear sign that we need to we need to rethink our relationship with the political system. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know? Yeah. You know, so any other thoughts? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something. <laughs> uh, no. So who are you voting for? I'm just playing. I'm not telling. <laughs> I'm not telling. I'm not don't telling. say. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, again, I don't want to reiterate. Yeah. You know, I just feel like we're missing it. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're missing it. I feel like we're we're the church is asking the wrong questions. Mm. You know, asking who to vote for to me is is the wrong, it's the wrong question. That's a that's a, a political system question. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, how do we be faithful to our mission? Yes. Is, yep. the, is the question is the that question. we should be asking. Yeah. And that might not include a vote. Mm. That might include what we need to, or it does include what we need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or what we need to speak against. Right. Or what we need to speak for. Yeah. Um, but we cannot do that if we are tied to the political system. And if we see our voting as a kingdom right when it's not. Mm -mm. Um, and so, you know, I, I think, again, you know, not that I have some deep insight or anything like that, because um, it's not. I just think it's more of like, man, are we being deceived by this idea of politics? Mm -hmm. Is it shaping our reality as Christians more? Mm -hmm. Than we, than we believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and I think this was kind of a sign. Like, I'm looking at these individuals, and I'm just like, 
what am I hoping for here? Right. Right. Yes. What do I, what do I expect here? Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, well, that's it. <laughs> <You said it>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that's it. That's it. For another edition of Church Dropout. Yes. And again, as always, we'd love to hear your comments. Um, I know many of you have thoughts on this mm -hmm. and different things of this sort. Again, this is not about who to vote for, who's yeah. the perfect candidate. You know, for us, it's more of a question of faithfulness as Christians to the call that, that God has given us. And to me, this is a sign that the system can't can't do what God has called us to do and that we need to be in position to be the church in the world that God has called us to be and not legislate or vote or restore values mm -hmm. to a kingdom that's not the kingdom that we belong to. Mm -hmm. We need to be about yeah. the kingdom of God. And yes. so yeah. anyway, just you know, some thoughts. Yeah. Leave us uh, some, I would like to hear some comments. What did you guys think after seeing the debate? Um, did you feel like, you know, hope was lost? Did you feel like hopeful, you know? So. Yeah. I hope we didn't feel hope was lost. Mm -hmm. um, that would imply that you put hope there. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, definitely what Lisa said though. We'd love to hear your comments below. Um, I, I think that this is a, a wake up. I, I really believe that God is doing something within the body of Christ. I believe that God is, I'm going on again, huh? No. I, 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 I really do believe that God is um, showing the brokenness of these systems mm -hmm. that we've placed our trust in. Mm. Like, I think he's allowing these things to fall. Mm. Um, all these things that we have bought into yeah. and have kept us from mission. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think this is one of those examples. Yeah. You know, you know, like where we're seeing like, wait a minute, what are, what are we doing here? And the amount of stress, the amount of concern, that Christians are having over this, the amount of anxiety mm. shows that, man, we have a lack of understanding of what our call is and we have a lack of faith uh, in Christ. Yeah. Our, our faith is tied up in the system. Um, you know, so, you know, again, we love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so to close one more time. <laughs> You know, thank you for tuning into the Church Dropout Podcast. We'd love to hear your thoughts, as Lisa said. Drop a comment below. If you have not already, please like, rate, and subscribe uh, to the channel. We appreciate it. If you have, please share this video. And uh, yeah, that's it. We out. Good night.